The President, the President. please be seated. The previous as well. The court is now in session. The open all audience. Before we start the proceedings, the trial chamber would like to inquire to the defense counsel whether the pronouncement of the result from this morning discussion S'agissant de dénoncer uh, whether the de defense counsel would like to make any observation or comments. La Chambre voudrait savoir si la défense a à ce propos des observations à faire. Mr. Roux. Uh, merci, Monsieur uh, le thank you, uh, Président. Mr. President. Euh, la, la défense confirme donc qu'elle fait de son côté ses best efforts best effort pour permettre à ce procès d'avancer dans to les move meilleures conditions. And under the best conditions possible. C'est la raison and pour this laquelle. Is the La défense the defense a indiqué qu'elle accepte la qualité d'expert de M. Etchison's quality as an capacity as an expert jusqu'à la date up into de juillet 2007, July 2007 date à laquelle date il a which écrit he son rapport wrote, he, he established his et date à laquelle and il a annexé à ce rapport he un to certain report, nombre a certain de documents. Of documents. La défense and a donc précisé uh, qu'elle est effectivement d'accord pour considérer to que tous consider ces documents, documents viennent au soutien de Come ce to rapport support this report, et que c'est bien ce rapport et ces documents and dont nous allons débattre that we are going to be et qui seront versés dans la règle 87. Par contre, However, la défense the defense insiste sur le like fait Après that after July 2007, Mr. Greg Mr. Etchison, Craig Etchison a été directement was directly dans les involved contre in the prosecution against the accused. And under these conditions, son his en tant statement as an expert doit pas must porter not sur rely période on the period following July 2007 and on du the dont il a elements in the case file that he became aware of 2007. after July 2007. La the defense would like to remind ce principe uh, this énoncé par la Cour européenne des droits de l'homme qui dit qu'il ne suffit that pas says that it is not que la justice for soit justice rendue, to be rendered. il faut que le public it is also necessary constate for the public to que acknowledge la justice on its own a été rendue de manière équitable. Personne Nobody ne comprendrait would understand que that Monsieur Etchison, Mr. Etchison, qui a qui est membre de l'équipe du procureur, of the, uh, puisse team, revêtir la qualité d'expert pour parler uh, of du dossier de l'instruction. Uh, to speak about the investigation a file impliqué. Whereas he was Donc clearly la involved in it. Bien so la the defense would like to make the distinction between Jusqu'à juillet 2007, qui ne pose pas de problème, même si M. Etchison travaillait déjà dans l'équipe du procureur, co mais il n'y avait pas encore however, à cette époque de personnes mises en examen, et comme on le verra 
son rapport est un rapport général extrêmement utile pour les débats que nous avons. Et donc nous faisons bien la distinction entre cette période jusqu'à juillet 2007 et la seconde période à partir de juillet 2007. And we are ah, uh, uh, Monsieur ready, les procureurs, uh, messieurs les procureurs, puissent commencer uh, leur interrogatoire de M. Craig Etchison uh, à propos start, uh, de ce rapport de juillet 2007. Based on this report de ce rapport de juillet 2007. Ce sont les submissions de la défense. Je remercie la Défense de ses observations. So that, uh, the proceedings in, um, hearing the testimony of, uh, Et nous the allons expert can be expeditious. Is there any la déposition provisant a issues? Um, faire en sorte uh, I would que like le to remind a party rapide. that the same issues should not uh, be put uh, before the court now. It should have been resolved already. Mr. President, I would like to make some oral observations um, in public now concerning the exclusion of civil parties this morning. Et s'agissant like de l'exclusion des partis civils au débat. Ask for leave to do so. Et j'aimerais vous en demander la permission. The president, uh, you take the floor because uh, we already made the promise. Now, Mais as promised, uh, you are allowed to do so. Comme nous vous l'avons promis. Thank you, Mr. President. Maître Suzinski, je vous remercie, This Monsieur morning, le Président. Um, Ce matin, when we started the trial, the president of the chamber announced that we start with a closed session and that civil parties will be excluded. This moment, I looked back and I saw the civil parties who were already this morning in the courtroom before we resumed. I saw that they were already outside of the courtroom. When I requested then, in closed session, to allow the civil parties to participate, this was rejected. I could observe as well that the accused was or participated in this trial management meeting. The civil parties are parties, and have, in this regard, of course, the same rights as the accused. That means to participate in meetings like the trial management meeting and to follow even if this is in closed session. The civil parties to whom I speak during the break complain and have had a desire and have it in the future to participate in those sessions. Although it is considered as a technical meeting, but this technical meeting concerns the civil parties as well, and they would like to follow the whole proceedings in those enclosed sessions. They would accept to be excluded if it is a meeting only among the professionals 
ne veut pas être là s'il s'agissait de réunions à huis clos, simplement entre les juges, les greffiers, les co-avocats. Was allowed to participate Mais in this si l'accusé était autorisé à participer meeting, then à cette réunion, feel to be et not le sentiment parmi just. les parties And civiles est qu'elle n'a pas été traitée um, avec justice de manière équitable. Ce qui justifie ma requête. Cette But requête, cette I demande de participation de la partie civile a été rejetée, mais je souhaiterais qu'à l'avenir, la Chambre prenne civil note and que les parties civiles, et surtout celles qui s'y présentent depuis le début, et chaque jour have an interest, dans ce prétoire, ces parties civiles ont un intérêt, un intérêt personnel à participer. Je vous remercie. The president. Le président. Uh, Mr. François Roux, you take the floor. Maître Roux, je vous en prie, vous souhaitez intervenir. Monsieur Mr. le Président, Roux, Mr. President, juste une just observation. One observation please. Les droits des the rights of the civil parties and the rights of the accused are not identical. Et il est absolument évident que doit that the accused must les éléments participate in all of uh, the étant, elements that concern him. Au nom de la défense, However, in the name of the je defense, I would like to support uh, the submission of my uh, colleague, and I believe, possible, indeed, that as, as far as it is possible, the civil parties must be authorized to participate uh, in trial management meetings while reminding them that clos, concerning in-camera hearings, They are, of course, subjected to a confidentiality uh, obligation. The President, uh, the court official is now instructed to Bring Je in demande Dr. Craig à l'huissier de bien vouloir into the courtroom dans le prétoire so that, uh, his M. Craig Edgerson de manière à heard. pouvoir entendre son témoignage. The president, for the, president, the next proceeding, for the trial chamber des, would like to give the floor to the, the co-prosecutor co to put questions to the expert. Pour the floor is yours, co-prosecutor. Co-prosecutor, co thank you, Mr. Le president. Le co Before je vous remercie, I start to pose the questions to the expert, Dr. Edison, I would Edison, seek your president's leave je souhaiterais avoir for the experts to clarify the names which two days ago de de he seems les to mention some a... names and I and my colleague could not get the names clearly. Il a fait mention de noms et mon 
And we observe that uh, Dr. Craig Edison mentions Bien the name Kaumis alias um, Aja alias Aja For this instance, I would like Et him exemple, to clarify whether Kaumis alias Aja because si some Kaum, documents, si bien la when question, the expert writes the names, it is confused. confused. It is confused. In contradictory to the names that we, the co prosecutors have studied and researched. And we want to know for sure whether Achamis is really Kaimis. Because we are confused. And I would like clarification from the experts. The president, uh, the Mr. Edison, can you clarify Monsieur whether Kaumis is actually a Jacob, as you mentioned, que je peux vous or à whether it's bien a different name? Can you clarify that? Comme, uh, le co-procureur vient de... Uh, de l'affirmer ou de le... Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I believe that's correct. Chose? KMS was a veteran revolutionary and an original member of the party's central committee from 1960. The co-prosecutor, co my question is to verify it. Ma Whether but to verify Kaumis, si Kaumis is also called Achakong, porte également le nom de Achakong. Because two days ago you said il y a deux jours, Kaumis alias Achakong, Achakong, and we are confused et based et on our studies on certain documents. Nos études et à la lumière de nos des documents dont nous avons notre disposition. When you said Kaumis alias Achakong. Donner le nom de Kaumis, s'agit-il bien de Kaija Kaum If the chamber would indulge me a moment, uh, so I can check si my notes and see at what point this vérifier. question arose. Mes notes par rapport à cette question. Monsieur le Président, je, je profite de ce moment pour Mr. rappeler Mr. President, like que j'avais demandé s'il uh, était possible techniquement de voir apparaître les noms quand on les cite sur nos écrans. La Chambre pourrait garder uh, présent à l'esprit so cette demande. Please, uh, je crois que ce serait très request. utile pour tout le monde que quand des noms sont prononcés, un des greffiers puisse les taper et que nous puissions les voir apparaître à l'écran, ça ne devrait pas poser de problème technique insurmontable. Merci. The co-prosecutor would like to clarify whether Kaumis and Achakong is just one person. Vous demandez de confirmer si Kaumis et Achakong sont en fait une. Yes, Mr. Prosecutor. My understanding that Kaumis used the alias Achakong. Je peux confirmer que Kaumis utilise l'alias Achakong. Kaumis is spelled K-E-O. Kaumis, ça s'appelle, ça s'appelle K-E-O-M. And Acha Kong is A C H A R C H A R K A N G. N G. To jump like Dr. Raj Banya, look, the president. The president. In order to solve the issues raised by the defense, whether we are able or we are capable to do it both in the English and the Khmer scripts, 
whether it can be projected onto the screen. Can I get clarification from the IT section, please? audiovisuelle si une telle chose est possible, si on peut afficher à l'écran les noms au fur et à mesure qu'ils sont euh, énoncés. Je vous remercie. Il me semble qu'il y a une difficulté technique. C'est que un même greffier, puisque nous n'avons qu'un seul écran, ne doit pas pouvoir à la fois écrire en alphabet latin et en alphabet latin. Il nous aura besoin des deux. Surtout quand La raison pour laquelle je pense que c'est difficile techniquement, en, en dehors de, de tout problème, je pense que techni déjà, euh, demander ça au greffier, c'est quelque chose de très compliqué. Very difficult, and I think requiring asking this of the greffier is something that will be indeed very difficult. Monsieur le Président, on peut demander aux services service techniques d'organiser ça pour la semaine prochaine. Si ça n'est pas possible aujourd'hui, on peut leur demander de le mettre en place pour la semaine prochaine, puisqu'apparemment, ça n'a pas l'air d'être très compliqué à faire. You say it's not complicated, but you can see that apparently the IT personnel could not accomplish the task at this stage. So it is complicated, of course. It is only your estimation. Well, look, 
The IT sections, probably you can uh, postpone your work on this particular issue, and probably you can work on this issue next week in order not to delay the proceedings since the proceedings have been interrupted on so many occasions. Now I would like the floor to be given to the co-prosecutor. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. I also would like to express my thanks to Dr. Craig Edison to have spent Edison, 30 years of his time to conduct the research and history of Cambodia Cambodge, until the, the date with an enormous result and benefit for both the co Procurator's office for the chamber as well as for the Cambodian people who do not clearly understand the history in detail about the history of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. So my next question to you is, based on your many years of research, I would like to ask you and probably you can answer in general and not in details in your research. Is the Communist Party of Kampuchea from its establishment ever conducted a national conference congress from the day of its establishment until the day of its fall and for each Congress of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, were there any decisions or adoptions of any particular laws or statutes of the parties of the, of the Communist Parties of Kampuchea? And the third question is, during each national congress from the beginning, the member of the standing committee, the members of the CPKs, du how many of them attended? En quel and if at the time the members not Communist Party of Kampuchea, can you explain to the chamber what was the name that was used at the time of the establishment of the, the Communist Party of Kampuchea? And for each subsequent meeting, Et quel était le what nom were, the were there any changes to the members? And, and in Quels its final year, dans les membres, the, what was the last time the National Congress held and what were adopted in that Congress? Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. Between the establishment of the party and the end of the democratic Kampuchea regime, there were five general congresses of the party. They were in 1960, 1963, 1971, 1976, and 1978. In 1960, en 1960, approximately 20 individuals environ 20 personnes gathered together se sont réunis and established an organization that they called une organisation the Workers' Party of Kampuchea. Appelé le Parti des Travailleurs du Kampuchea. They elected an 8 to 10 member Ils central committee. Et un comité central composé d'entre 8 et 10 personnes. And from that central committee, Et ce they elected a élu Tu Samut as the secretary comme of the party du parti, and Nguyen Chia et Nunchia as the deputy secretary. Comme secrétaire adjoint. They also established a political program. Mis en place un programme politique. At the 1963 Congress, Au congrès de 1963 with Secretary Samut having been assassinated the party elected Salot Tsar 
who was later to become known as On Pol Pot, connu sous le nom de Pol Pot, as the new secretary, au poste de secrétaire, Nguyen Chia, remained as deputy secretary of the party. Du parti. And additional members were added Et to the central committee se sont au comité central, and the standing committee. In 1971, en 1971, when the party convened its third congress, à l'occasion du troisième congrès du parti, they decided to change the name of the party de to le the nom Communist Party of Kampuchea. And they also engaged in a variety of planning for their ongoing war of national liberation. Et des plans ont été élaborés en vue de la libération nationale. By the time of the fourth party congress in 1976, the party had seized national power le parti avait pris le pouvoir and was national, well advanced était bien in their plans dans to establish ses plans state power visant à s'assurer le Under pouvoir dictatorship of the proletariat dans le cadre d'une dictature du prolétariat and well advanced il est aussi bien their plans for a radical transformation of Cambodian society dans ses plans visant à une transformation society. radicale de la société cambodgienne at that 1976 je parle donc de 76 they adopted à ce même congrès a new set of le statutes parti a adopté de nouveaux statuts for the communist party of Kampuchea and that particular set of statutes are the ones Et ces that are on the case file sont ceux qui before the court today. Au dossier dont vous êtes saisi. At their fifth party congress Au cinquième congrès du parti, in 1978, 1978, one of the principal activities of that congress was to appoint le parti formal a new zone secretaries des zo uh, to replace the numerous zone secretaries pour who had les been purged zone qui été in the series of purges purge that were carried out vu la série de over the previous two years. Au cours des deux années qui avaient précédé. Et ça a été la principale activité de ce Does this information suffice to answer your question, Mr. Prosecutor? À à votre question, Monsieur le Procureur? Thank you very much oui, for merci. answering to the specific questions I raised. The co-prosecutor would like to clarify uh, on a small point. Nous aimerions uh, préciser un point. Yang and Kyu Sampon, whether they became a full right member of the central committee, and if so, at which congress, si oui, à quel based congrès? on your research. Que ressort-il de vos recherches? My understanding, Réponse. Mr. Prosecutor, is that Q. Sampan became a full rights member of the Central Committee at the 1971 Congress. Congress. But the status of Ying Tirit is unclear to me. Je suis moins sûr. Co-prosecutor, thank you for answering the question. My next question to you Merci. is, on, still on your research, Toujours sur la base de vos recherches. in the constitution of the Democratic Cambodia, I will focus on Article 10. Article 10. In Article 10, which is in Chapter 7, Chapter 7, Article 10, on the judicial system, sur l'organe judiciaire, the co-prosecutor would like you to clarify it in general. During your research, general, ce que vous avez constaté au whether de recherche, Article 10 of the savoir, Constitution hein. of the Democratic Cambodia, which states about the 
actions in opposition to the people's state. Violant les lois de l'État populaire. And secondly, the types of offenses besides those mentioned above, les types d'infractions, whether they will be re-educated within the state framework or within the people's organizations. And the question is, based on your research, although the Constitution is just a facade as raised by the accused, based on your research, whether the two points that I raised, how would the offenses be categorized? Comment les or whether are the cases where they need to be re-educated? Can you provide clarification to the court? Y avait-il re-education? Pouvez-vous préciser cela pour le, la chambre? Yes, Mr. Prosecutor. Réponse. Oui. Article 10 of the Constitution of Democratic Kampuchea states, in part, and I quote, dangerous activities in opposition to the people's state must be condemned to the highest degree, end quote. Although it is not explicit, one suspects by highest degree Quand on parle de they peine refer la to the death penalty. On peut de la peine de mort. And indeed, de fait, a very wide variety of offenses in democratic Cambodia de were deemed as warranting a death penalty. De la peine de mort au Activities in opposition to the people's state is a phrase that was very broadly construed and might include such things as failing to work enthusiastically and hard 12 to 14 hours a day, seven days a week. This could be construed as opposition to the people's state and warrant a death penalty. Article 10 of the Democratic Kampuchea Constitution further states, and I quote, other cases are subject to constructive re-education in the framework of the states or people's organizations, end quote. In Democratic Kampuchea, in addition to the nationwide network of security offices that was established for purposes of interrogation, torture, and execution, there was another network of institutions that were known as re-education facilities. In fact, what these were were extremely en fait, brutal ces camps de slave labor camps. Étaient des camps de travail forcé, in many respects, sévère, et à bien the entire égards, state of democratic Kampuchea could be considered a slave considéré labor camp, comme un camp de considering the conditions that were imposed les on the entire population. Qui pour la population tout However, Cependant, when someone committed si what was regarded as a light or minor infraction, comme une infraction légère ou mineure, they would be sent to one of these re-education camps un camp de where the regime of forced labor and starvation rations où le was de more severe et les de than that to which the general population was subjected. Que les conditions conditions at this network of re-education camps Dans ce réseau de camp de were so inhumane les conditions étaient à ce that there inhumaine. was generally a very high death toll y avait un taux de among inmates in those camps. Parmi les 
taking the satellite facility of S21, exemple, known as S24, S24, as an example, uh, there were often S21, three categories of prisoners il y avait trois at these re-education camps. Light prisoners, les coupables de délits intermediate prisoners, mineurs, les détenus intermédiaires, intermédiaires et les détenus coupables de délits graves. Light prisoners, if they work hard, mineurs, behave si well, dur, si and otherwise survived the inhumane conditions, could eventually be released back to their cooperatives or other organizational units. Serious prisoners, Quant aux by contrast, were typically graves, either worked to death Ils travaillaient soit jusqu'à en mourir ou ils étaient exécutés. The intermediate category pour ce qui est de la catégorie intermédiaire, les gens dont on estimait qu'ils étaient encore déterminés s'ils étaient coupables d'un délit mineur ou grave, parce qu'il n'y avait pas de network ou de framework de lois en démocratie réglementaire. And because policy, as pronounced by the upper echelon of the organization, la evolved continuously, people could not always know what constituted opposition to the people's state or any kind of infraction uh, that might lead to incarceration in either a re-education camp or a security office. De réeducation dans un camp de sécurité, in that respect, dans un camp de réeducation. the discipline à cet égard, meted out by the state of democratic Kampuchea was extremely arbitrary. La discipline qui s'exerçait dans le cadre de l'état du Kampuchea démocratique était extrêmement arbitraire. The co-prosecutor, thank you, Question. Mr. Hutchison. Merci, Monsieur Hutchison. Your testimony is very useful for the prosecution, uh, prosecutors in particular, Votre and the parties to the proceedings. Très utile Next question. Pour les procureurs comme pour les parties à la After your Question suivante. long research, après vos longues recherches, Whether, uh, have you studied uh, the special characteristics of, of the people characteristic uh, assembly propre and representative? Could you please des représentants du uh, peuple? briefly tell us about uh, the people representative? Un peu plus sur l'assemblée des représentants du peuple. Yes, Mr. Prosecutor. Oui, Monsieur le Procureur. In theory, en théorie, the People's Representative Assembly of Kampuchea was peuple. supposed to be elected once Ils every five years. Élu une fois tous les cinq ans by direct election au suffrage direct using a secret ballot et par scrutin secret according to the constitution of democratic Kampuchea. en vertu de la constitution du Kampuchea démocratique in fact however en fait toutefois the 250 representatives membres of the people's representative assembly de l'assemblée were appointed étaient désignés the upper echelon par les chefs supérieurs of the communist party of Kampuchea. du Kampuchea. The People's Representative Assembly, unlike a typical legislative organ in other states, did not meet regularly, did not pass 
any laws pas de loi, and in fact did not appear to have any duties et ne semble at all pas avoir eu quelque other than que ce soit, to serve as a sinon propaganda de facade comme in an effort to burnish the reputation of democratic Kampuchea de among euh, other nations of the world. Dans la défense de l'image du Kampuchea démocratique euh, ailleurs dans le monde. In a document that's on the case file, il y a au dossier un document standing committee meeting minutes un compte dated rendu d'une réunion du comité March 1976 with the ERN 00 through hmm. I believe there's an error in this ERN number. Because the ending one I have is a lower number than the starting one. Car le chiffre de la dernière page est inférieur au numéro de la première page. Je vois que ce projet est 0001 71 2 Il manque un chiffre. The President, uh, Judge Laverne, you take Judge Laverne, je vous en prie. Est-ce qu'il s'agit du numéro 55 sur la Judge liste Laverne, des co-procureurs Number 55 on the co-prosecutors list. Il s'agit du numéro 56, du document en position 56, Monsieur le Président. And also, we have a French ERN 2, as it doesn't appear in Dr. Etchison's list, 00323932 through 00323936. I can also give the English ERN 00182626. Et Monsieur le Président, est-ce qu'on pourrait Mr. donner Hope. le numéro de la footnote du rapport de Mr. Etchison's report be provided? It would be useful. Thank you. Peut-être que l'expert là. Perhaps Mr. Etchison has it himself. The President, uh, Mr. Etchison, uh, could you Etchison, please provide the footnote reference? Uh, vous savez à quelle note de bas de page ce document apparaissait? Yes, Mr. President. Réponse, oui, Mr. President. Thank you, Judge Levan and Merci Mr. Prosecutor, Levin for that assistance. Pour le raid. The uh, footnote in the report La note, uh, overview of the hierarchy of democratic Kampuchea, which is relevant to this, is number 355. 
concerne ce document est la note 355. 355. Getting back to the question from the prosecutor. Je reviens à la question du coprocureur. This particular meeting of the CPK à Standing Committee du comité permanent was devoted in part to preparing for the election of the People's Representative Assembly. And in the notes of that meeting, et dans le compte -rendu de cette réunion, there is the comment, on trouve le and I quote, suivant, je cite, if anyone asks, si demande, do not speak playfully about the assembly in front of the people sur to let them see that we are deceptive and our assembly is worthless. End quote. Tromperie, pas la to me, this is an fin de open pour moi, admission ceci est that the standing committee comme quoi le comité permanent Si je peux me permettre, je crois que les interprètes en français n'ont pas saisi exactement le sens de votre citation. Donc si vous pouvez la redire pour être sûr que nous ayons bien compris. Je suis désolé. Yes, of course, Your Honor. Oui, naturellement. Again, I quote. Je répète la citation. If anyone asks, si quelqu'un do not speak playfully demande, about the assembly in front of the people. Parler devant les gens to let them see that we are deceptive. Sur l'assemblée and our assembly is worthless. Que end quote. C'est une tromperie. Alors cette assemblée ne sert à rien. Fin de citation. The co-prosecutor, I would like to go back to ask further questions to the expert. expert. The next document is about the policy of uh, the CPK. It relates to the statute of the CPK. My question is that uh, could you please briefly describe si about the statute whether uh, who were to be subject uh, for the implementation Qui of the statute uh, based on your experience en charge de l'application des statuts thank you mr prosecutor réponse merci monsieur le procureur the statute of the communist party of kampuchea les statuts du parti communiste du kampuchea to members of the Communist Party du parti. of Kampuchea. However, because the statute Toutefois, of the Communist Party of Kampuchea was the guiding comme les document le of the organization which exercised dictatorial state power in Cambodia. Qui des in fact, au many of the provisions en fait, de embodied de within the statute of the Communist Party were imposed upon the entire people of the nation. À de la nation. Co-prosecutor, question. Dr. Edgerson, thank you very much for Monsieur your brief Edgerson, description. Pour cette description. My next question is statue, question suivante. about the fundamental principle Elle porte sur the confidence, confidentiality Le and the positions De the positions of the policies at the initial stage of the building of the country and the et socialism. Et there was a long detailed policy on the construction de of the socialism and the defense, defense of the revolution. Ainsi que de de la In that, it details 
dans cette they politique. Mac Leninism. On reprend les principes du marxisme et du leninisme. World view on the on the labor parties, the strong and weak labor parties in the world, and in the statute of the la CPK. Dans le monde et dans les statuts. There is an idea, a long idea, that the party will absolutely oppose. There is also an inclusion of its opposition in any form to the political interference or political views which is which is different from the views of the party. It also demands the party to be vigilant. Il est aussi exigé des membres du Parti qui soient vigilants for all the activities and trickeries of the enemy. concernant toute activité ou tout My mené, question toute menée that de I will put to you Alors voici ma question. is that through your research sur la base de vos recherches on the history of the democratic Cambodia concernant l'histoire du Cambodia and also on the history of Cambodia, whether you can describe in general from your expertise through your reading documents whether the, these fundamental principles of the party how were they established comment ont-ils été mis en place thank you mr prosecutor okay, yes, sir. One of the fundamental principles adhered to by the Communist Party of Kampuchea, particularly from the time that they seized state power, was a principle known as independence mastery. This principle essentially defined a concept of political and economic autarky, which is to say the leaders of democratic Kampuchea believed that their revolution was unique and therefore there was no need to seek guidance from the model of any other previous communist revolution. They believed that previous communist revolutions had failed because they failed to destroy the oppressor classes in society. Capitalist les capitalistes, bourgeois, les bourgeois and feudalist classes. et les classes féodales. So, et donc, the democratic Kampuchea revolution la révolution du was Kampuchea démocratique était to eliminate déterminée those classes à éliminer ces in their classes dans leur totalité and to achieve a state based entirely à un état basé on entièrement sur and peasants les travailleurs et les paysans having completely eliminated Ayant other classes of society by transforming classe, société, those members of the petty bourgeois class de, who could survive the transformation into peasants qui auraient pu survivre they would thereby à, à la achieve transformation a classless society les transformant en paysans transformant par la and même instantaneously la accomplish pure communism. Afin d'accomplir et d'arriver à un communisme pur. This concept of social transformation de transformation sociale completely disregarded the entire history a complètement ignoré of communist theory l'histoire d'ensemble de Marx la théorie and Engels, communiste de Marx en passant par Engels through Lenin Stalin, puis à Lenin, Mao, Staline, Mao, and other great communist thinkers. Et à d'autres penseurs, de grands, but nonetheless, grands penseurs communistes. The Néanmoins, leaders of the Communist Party of Kampuchea believed that 
through this concept Avec les of independence, par le biais de ce concept, mastery, de ce controlling uh, their own destiny by largely cutting all forms of economic and political relations with the outside world. Des uh, they could achieve des relations avec le monde a unique revolution and become a model for future revolutions all over the world. Does this revolution question, Mr. Prosecutor? Does this answer your question, Mr. Prosecutor? Does this answer your question, Mr. Prosecutor? Co-prosecutor, thank you very much, Dr. Gray Edison. That is what the co-prosecutor wants, just a basic concept. My next question to be put to you, Dr. Gray Edison, is that in the statutes of the Communist Party of Cambodia, is that all the party organizations and members of the parties have to be pure, clean, du parti devait être pur propre politiquement ideologically au niveau idéologique and et the organization built based on their own pure biographies with clear biographies and histories biography also in the statute there is criticism and self criticism which was done on a daily basis this means to build the party internally. The question that I will put to you is: Le parti. La question que j'ai à vous poser est la suivante. For you to give general descriptions based on your direct contact and reading of the documents and research is whether the principle is correct, appropriate, clean for the implementation throughout the entire country. Pureté, cette pureté politique à travers l'ensemble du pas du pays. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. Réponse. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Co-procureur. Article one. Article one. Of the statutes of the Communist Party of Cambodia. Du PCK. Are on criteria for joining the party. Critères d'adhésion au parti. At one C of Article one. C. It states, and I quote, "Must have good and clean life morals, and be good and clean politically, never having been involved with the enemy." End quote. This relates to a concept that the Khmer Rouge called. Purity, or being pure and clean. Perhaps I can illustrate this concept with an example related to S21. In eastern Kampong Chenong province, there is a district called Kampong. Trelok, district, which is hard up against the Tonle Sap River. Long de la rivière Tonle Sap. Historically, and still today, if I'm not mistaken, Kampong Trelok district is one of the most disadvantaged and impoverished regions of central Cambodia. There are many. Very poor people there. Il y a de nombreuses personnes défavorisées dans ce district. Duc selected Duc a young boys sélectionné de jeunes garçons from Kampong Trelok provenant de cette province du Kampong Chenlao as staff at S21. Il les a recrutés pour travailler comme membres du personnel de S21. My understanding is that he did this because they were from the very poorest strata of the peasantry, a social stratum 
that was favored by the Khmer Rouge Revolution, qui a été promu, favorisé par and because les Khmer Rouges, coming from a et parce poor que le fait de and remote region, d'une région pauvre et éloignée, they were much less likely to have been influenced by foreign or urban eh bien, il était peu vraisemblable qu'il allait être influencé par la, le milieu citadin, par les féodaux, par les capitalistes, par les bourgeois. Autrement dit, ils And avaient des biographies pures. Et comme l'accusé, l'accusé comme l'accusé, ils étaient comme un blanc position. Um, on which you could write du, whatever you wanted. Eh bien, comme des pages blanches où vous pouviez, sur so vous this was the concept of vouliez. purity donc, under the concept, Khmer Rouge. C est, c est it par has to do with de class de origins. Uh, sous le régime des Khmer Rouge. Des origines liées ici Does aux origines de la classe. Est-ce que cette réponse correspond à la question que vous aviez posée, Monsieur le Co-procureur? Co-prosecutor, thank you very much, Dr. Gregerson. That is what the co-prosecutor want. Just basic concept. My next question may involve the request to the accused for clarification. However, because this is not the time for the accused to say it on the principles of the implementation Nous en venons ici au principe de la de mise en œuvre. and whether to ask whether the principles were implemented in S21 I will si leave these things aside until the such time when the accused is be before the chamber on this particular issue pour que poser so cette I would not like to take this time to uh, ask the chamber to have the accused to speak on the implementation of these principles yet. The question that I will put to Dr. Edison is that two days ago, you presented graphs to the chamber on the arrest and killing at the Division 310, 703 and 502. Um, in those graphs, you give the statistics of the arrests in that year as per months and year, with some months there was a peak and that you have described to the chamber. It is clearly that you have clearly collected adequate evidence to show to the chamber. The question is, I do not want the detail, is for, the, for you to show to the chamber for in probably 1976, if I am not mistaken, based on your research, on the information regarding the history of the arrest, on mass arrest, or individual arrest, whether you have known that during that year, was there a, an authority from Thailand who sent the Khmer people, I do not want to specify the number, and I will inform the chamber at a later stage on the number of those people who were sent from Thailand to Cambodia and whether during that year you have researched that the Thai authority had sent the Khmer people who escaped into Thailand and were sent back to Cambodia through Arang Prathet Port and subsequently they were sent to S21. The majority of those people who were sent, who were sent back, were probably from Sari Sapua district, from Batrang village, who fled Cambodia into Thailand. 
le Cambodge pour aller sur le Thaïlande. Did you make a research on this particular incident when the people were sent from Thailand and then they were subsequently sent to S21? Ils sont fuis, se réfugient en Thaïlande et ensuite ont été renvoyés et sont arrivés à S21. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. Réponse, merci, Monsieur le Procureur. I believe that there were a number of occasions on which individuals and groups of individuals who had fled from Democratic Kampuchea into Thailand were forcibly repatriated by Thai authorities to Cambodia and that when they were received by Democratic Kampuchea authorities, they were regarded as traitors and subjected to the sanctions that typically appertain to a traitor. I believe that there were such incidents in 1976. However, I do not have any specific information about such people having been sent to S21. It may well have happened, and I am simply unaware of it. Co-prosecutor, since thank you, Greg Edison. Je vous remercie, Monsieur Craig Edison. The co-prosecutor will question in details upon the chamber's permission to the accused since there were some documents on those people who were sent from Thailand and were sent to S21. And there was a letter from Amnesty International, which sent to the state presidium to kill some port at the time. My next question to Dr. Edison. As a researcher, my question is the following, Mr. Craig Edison. In tant que chercheur, also as you are. A researcher for the office of the co-prosecutor, can you explain whether in S21, there were screenings of cadres, combatants, or not? Because you have confirmed to the chamber that there were purges throughout the country of the cadres and combatants, etc. But my question here is specifically on S21, whether there were purges of cadres and combatants in S21 as it was carried out in uh, throughout the country. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. Yes, indeed. Oui, effectivement. As with all other organizational units of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, cadre at S21 were also required to conduct what were called revolutionary life sessions mener, participer à des séances de vie révolutionnaire au cours desquelles des techniques de critique et d'autocritique étaient utilisées aux fins d'amélioration personnelle et d'amélioration des autres personnes de manière à pouvoir renforcer le parti comme on le disait. Dans ces criticisme sessions could bring out aspects of one's life history or aspects of one's recent job performance, which would render one suspect 
in the eyes of the party, and indeed could possibly result in a cadre becoming defined as an enemy. As a consequence, some cadre from S21 were arrested and sent to S24 for re-education. And indeed, the records of S21 clearly show that a shocking proportion of the staff of S21 ended up as victims of S21. I'm afraid I don't have the precise figures with me here today, uh, but it was a very large number of people. The co-prosecutor, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Craig uh, Atchison. Thank you very much for your clarification concerning the purification and the purchase of the cadres at uh, S21. You have answered uh, our questions. And I have no further questions at the moment. I would like my colleague uh, to put uh, further questions if he would wish to do so. Thank you. The President, uh, the International co prosecutor you take the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. And good afternoon, Dr. Etchison. I have a couple of questions to begin on the role of the Standing Committee. You've spoken in overview about the functions of Office 870. In your report, you go into a little more detail in relation to an office styled S71. And you also list the offices prefixed by the letter K. Could you please give us a little K. more detail on offices S71 and the K offices? Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. That's correct. It's exact. Within Office 870, or under its control, was an organization known as S71, which can perhaps best be conceptualized as the Secretariat of Office 870, insofar as it was a network of support offices designed to attend to the varying needs of the party center. S71 was organized into a, a series of Units codenamed with K designations, such as K1, K3, K4, and so on. K1 was known as the Organizations Office, and in fact, that was the residence and office of Pol Pot. K3 was also known as the organization's office, and it housed Nguyen Chea and Q Sampan. K3 was physically located directly behind the palace, and K1 was 
à côté du palais. Just south of the new National Assembly. Situé juste au sud de la nouvelle Assemblée nationale. Also at K3. Également à K3. When they were in town, other members of the Standing Committee were accommodated. And the Standing Committee often convened meetings at K3. Et également des réunions fréquentes K4 étaient organisées à K3. K4 was the logistics office correspondait au bureau logistique for organizing the movement of the standing committee, des déplacements du comité permanent, besoins logistiques, so alimentation, transport, K4 et ainsi de suite. K4 was the political school correspondait à l'école politique. Of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, trained cadre. Can I interrupt you there? Sorry. You mentioned K4 twice. Excuse me. Did I say K5? No, I'm sorry. It's the political school. Thank you. K6 was the party school, where additional training. D'autres formations of CPK cadre was carried out. K7 was the messenger's unit for the party center. That was physically located on Soteros Boulevard, directly across from the National Museum. Again, if I may just interject, Dr. Atchison, in your report, you go into some detail listing all the K officers. Perhaps it's not necessary for the trial chamber to recount everyone. You've illustrated uh, amply for the letters K1 to K7. À savoir, à Can you tell us, perhaps in total, how many K officers there were? And, and if you know total, the size of the de personnel K. working in these Et, offices. Um, en de cela quel, quel in my report, Réponse dans mon rapport, I discuss 20 different K officers. Je cite that we believe were directly cas. tasked with servicing qui the requirements of the party center. À répondre directement aux besoins, à répondre In aux the various contemporaneous documents from Democratic Kampuchea that we have, du DL, there are Kampuchea very many offices that carry a K designation, scores and scores. We have not yet established how many of them um, may, like the ones I discuss in my report, have been directly connected to the party center. Uh, but it was a very large organization. Exactly how many cadres were dedicated to staffing these offices, I do not believe I could give you an estimate. Travailler. Alors, quant au nombre de cadres qui euh, travaillent au sein de ces bureaux, je ne peux malheureusement pas euh, vous Thank donner you. une idée plus précise. Of the 20 K officers you've listed uh, in your report, sur les 15, les 20 are you able to tell us whether liste. staff from those offices were subject to the same purges that you've already described? Dans ces bureaux and if so, whether from your Research, any many of those purged ended up victims at S21. Et si parmi ces purges, certains des cadres ont été cadres travaillant dans ces bureaux, yes, ont été envoyés S21. Mr. Prosecutor. In fact, Monsieur le coprocureur, en fait, several of the K offices that I discuss in my report were re-education offices. That is to say, they were forced labor camps that were used for disciplining individuals from within the party center's units of organization who had, in one way or another, fallen afoul of the rules or been deemed to have suspect biographies 
or who had been named in the confessions of persons who had been previously purged. So there was a large re-education section directly controlled by the party center and for a long time under the command of Pang. Long period, sous la direction from de our study Peng. of the records of S21, we believe that individuals from S21, all but a couple of these K offices did end up as victims of S21. Perhaps just for the record, um, you mentioned the name Pang. Can we spell it out for the court? And if that is an alias, what his name, full name was? And I can remind you if uh, there's no uh, dispute of that. Yes. Pang is P A N G. G. C'est comme ça qu'on appelle Pang. And uh, for the record, Pang, can you confirm, was the revolutionary name of Chim Sam Aok, uh, C H H I M, new word, S A M dash A O K. A O K. I believe that is correct, Mr. Prosecutor. And can you tell us what his fate was? Peng ended up at S21 after having personally delivered many people there himself. Mr. President, I wonder whether you wish to break uh, for a, a break, I have many maintenant. more questions de to questions matter for the, the chamber as to when expert. you wish to take a break. Thank you, Mr. President. Je me donc à vous. The President, uh, President. the Trottenberg now takes adjournment and resume by 3.20 p.m. The court official, could you please uh, make sure that uh, the expert is uh, taken to a waiting room? Thanks.